So Pete, is a vSAN stretch cluster a real active active stretch cluster? Uh, yeah, the answer is yes. Uh, so uh, basically any type of a, a fully stretched environment uh, falls into one of two categories where you are either doing synchronous replication or you are doing asynchronous replication. And, and vSAN falls in the former, meaning that uh, each and every time that uh, data blocks are being written to the persistent storage, uh, we are going to wait for that uh, right acknowledgement from both sides of the respective sites in a stretch cluster. So therefore, that means that it is a fully active, active arrangement. This also is important to note in a few other scenarios too, especially for failure scenarios. Um, an active, active arrangement, you don't have to worry about um, when the data was fully committed or not. When you have an asynchronous arrangement, that's where things become very complex is the failure handling of that. Uh, and so in this case, we do a fully active active arrangement, but because of that, um, you know, we have certain minimum requirements that we have in terms of round trip times for your inner site link, uh, overall bandwidth, uh, things of that. And that's really geared to ensure the quality of your active active arrangement. So, you know, vSAN is really flexible on that part, but we want to guide you in a way where it's going to be, a, you know, a successful deployment. No, it's, that's good to know that it's, you know, it's ready. I can just vMotion stuff back and forth. It's, it's not just a, a disaster recovery technology, but also can be used for disaster avoidance. Right. And, and you can pair it with something that is uh, asynchronous, you know, something like vSphere replication and, and then use SRM to have that third location, in which you, you know, you want uh, for the DR scenario that uh, an active active arrangement, you can't or you have maybe some uh, geographical limitations that you simply can't meet. We can't speed up, you know, the speed of light. And so therefore, uh, for an active active arrangement, uh, it is going to be somewhat limited in the distance between the respective sites. Uh, but then you can augment that arrangement with something like vSphere replication that would go off uh, to the third site and then be fully orchestrated by Site Recovery Manager.